After playing a little bit of Tetris with our rocks, we managed to make a nice square stone hearth that our wood stove is going to be sitting on. We made sure to leave the recommended uh, 16 inches spacing from the two walls. We'll be coming back up uh, at another point with some cement board and mortar. That way we can install it properly. The flooring around a wood stove also has to have about 18 inches of non-combustible flooring. So either stone tiles, bricks, ceramic tiles, that kind of stuff. So we're going to eventually do that on this side of the stove and we're also going to extend it all the way forward um, to cover the area in front of the front door so that when we walk in with dirty boots it doesn't get the wood flooring all dirty. But we're not going to be using uh, big stones like you see us using here. We're going to use probably something thinner like stone tiles because we want them to be a little bit lower than the stone hearth, we want them to be kind of even with the rest of the wood flooring. We don't want too big of a gap to trip on. But we'll be tackling that task after we install the wood stove and the hearth and the stove pipe. And down there.
As you can see above me, we haven't quite finished the tops of the gable ends. And that's because our ladder is not tall enough and we can't really reach it by getting through the window here. We do have our big 20 foot ladder that we're going to cut just a little bit off of it so that we can reach to the top. But we want to keep the ladder uh, the length that it is now just for a little bit longer because we're going to use it on the other side of the cabin to install the chimney pipe. So we'll have to wait just a little bit longer before we can finish up our gable ends.